These dioramas in the North American Mammals Hall, they're sealed very tightly. The, the, for most of them, the only way to get inside of them is to pull the front glass. Really, they've only been gone into uh, once or twice prior to this restoration and conservation. During this process, we are working with conservators to utilize materials that will not harm the specimens. All of the treatments that we're doing are reversible with materials that can at some future point, if better methods are developed, they can be removed and retreated. I believe these exhibits, once only viewed as exhibits, now have crossed the line into fine arts and archival material. So we are handling them very differently today. Oh my goodness. Isn't it amazing? Wow. Wow. It's got to be balsa wood. That's incredible. Yeah. The central focus of the exhibits here in the North American Mammals Hall is the taxidermy. Typically, the composition of the diorama really centers around the featured animals. And of course, uh, the taxidermy is nothing less than great animal sculpture. They were created in the late 1930s, soon after the opening of the Akeley Hall. All of the methods and techniques and uh, expertise that was developed in the creation of the Akeley dioramas were then brought down here in the creation of these, and these really are considered the best in the world. Mm -hmm. 